With the release of Operation Deadly Omen, the attachment system was reworked drastically. And one of the things affected the most by this rework was the weapon sites. Reticles and zoom levels were changed and this affected the effectiveness of every site in the game. So in today's video, I'm going to be ranking every weapon site in Rainbow Six Siege based on my experience and my opinion. If you disagree with any of my placements, feel free to leave a comment down below and let's go ahead and get into the ranking. Now coming in in the 16th spot is the Hollow D. The reason for the Hollow D getting this low on this list is mainly for the fact that its housing is absolutely humongous. This site's housing covers a significant portion of the middle of your screen, which means that when you're peeking an angle, your site's actually gonna be covering a lot of what you're peeking. Also on top of covering the middle of your screen, it also covers a significant portion of the bottom of your screen, meaning that when you're peeking a staircase, this site can actually end up getting you killed a lot of the time. Additionally, on top of having a bad housing, this weapon site also has the downside of having a really bad reticle that is very hard to aim with. With this reticle, you have to aim your shots in the middle of the three lines in the center of this optic. And it's not natural to aim with in comparison to the other optics on this video. And so because of the fact that this site has a bad reticle that I don't like, and the fact that the housing is humongous and covers a significant portion of your screen, I think I have to put this weapon site in the lowest position possible, which is the 16th spot. Now coming in in the 15th spot is the Hollow C or the Cybertruck site. Now the main reason why the Cybertruck site is getting this low on this list is for the same reason that the Hollow D is getting so low on this list, which is that its housing is really bad. The Cybertruck site's housing covers a significant portion of the bottom of your screen, which makes it really hard to aim with. Also, the sight window of this optic is very small. It's a very small square that is a lot smaller than some of the other optics that we're going to be discussing in this video. Then on top of all of those downsides, the reticle of this sight is very, very odd. It's a dot in the middle like some of the red dots in this video, but then it has two lines on each side that serve no purpose other than to just be in your way. For all of those reasons, I've never liked the Cybertruck site, and it's going to be going really low on this list for that reason. Now, the next weapon site coming in at the 14th spot is the Iron Sight, and I struggle to rank these on this list. The reason for this is because they give you a faster ADS speed, which is a pretty significant benefit in Siege. However, as you can see with the R4C, some of the Iron Sights in the game can be extremely clunky and can cover a large portion of your screen. But then if you look at a weapon like the MP7, its Iron Sights are extremely clean and honestly, its strongest 1X sight available. So since Iron Sights are extremely inconsistent and they can be some of the best sights in the game and also some of the worst sights in the game, I had to put them really low on this list. Now moving on to the weapon sight in the 13th position, we have the Red Dot. A. And the reason why the red dot A is going to be going this low on this list is simply for its housing. Compared to other red dots on this list, the red dot A has a significantly big housing that covers a large portion of the right and top of your screen. Also, the edge of the optic is extremely thick compared to the red dot C and other red dots that I'm gonna be demonstrating soon. However, don't get me wrong, this isn't a terrible optic. It does have a pretty solid reticle since it's just a dot in the center of your screen. So it is definitely viable, but in comparison to the other red dots in this video, I just don't think it's competitive. So I had to put it low on this list. Now the next site coming in at the 12th position is the Reflex B or the Russian Reflex. I know this is gonna be a controversial placement on this list, but the reason why I'm placing it this low on this list is just because it comes down to whether you like the reticle on the site. This site is extremely clean when it comes to the housing. The housing is small and it doesn't cover up a significant portion of your screen. The only thing that's really covered is the left side of your screen, but the top and the right side is completely clear. And this is probably one of the best housings in the game. However, this ranking simply just comes down to personal preference. I really do not like the reticle on this site. And so I had to put it low on this list, but I know there's a lot of people who swear by this reticle and that really enjoy this site then i can definitely see why people like it but for me personally i just can't put it higher on this list now coming in at the 11th spot we have another russian site that being the red dot b now the reason why the red dot b finds itself this high on this list is because it has a really sleek housing that doesn't cover a significant portion of your screen and because of the fact that i just personally prefer the reticle on this site compared to the other reticles we've already shown on this list like the reflex b the fact that this reticle is just a simple dot in the middle with a slight circle around it makes it really sleek and clean and easy to aim with. However, the one significant downside of this site is the fact that its housing does cover a significant portion of the bottom of your screen. So if you're peeking a staircase or if someone prones on you while you're using this site, you can get caught off guard by it and killed because of your sight. But generally, the situations where someone's going to be that low on your screen is pretty rare. So because of that, I don't find that downside to be so significant on this weapon site. And since the rest of the housing is pretty slim in comparison, I do think it's worthy of this position. Now, following up in the 10th spot, we have another Russian site, that being the Magnified C. This site does have the downside of other ACOGs, which is that it has a slower ADS speed. However, the reason why it's at this position has nothing to do with this ADS time. It completely has to do with the fact that the housing on this site just really isn't that good. First of all, it has a huge sight window, meaning that when you aim in with it, 
it zooms in a significant portion of your screen. Also, like I've demonstrated on Twitter and in other examples before, the ACOG and the Magnified C cover a significant portion of your screen. This housing, when you aim in at the middle of the target at 10 meters, it literally covers the entirety of the target, basically. This means that when you're holding an angle, anything your peripheral vision could get covered up. Then additionally, the Magnified C also covers a significant portion of the bottom of your screen with this bar in the middle of the sight picture, which makes it really hard to peek people on staircases and stuff like I've mentioned before, and to also see people when they're proning. All of these downsides combine to make this weapon sight just really not that good. But I know a lot of people who swear by this weapon sight and consider it to be one of the best ACOGs in the game, but for me personally, I really can just not justify putting this any higher. Now coming in at the number nine spot, we have the telescopic B site, which is the original 3X site. The reason why this weapon sight isn't going any higher on this list is simply for the fact of how big its sight picture is. When you run this weapon sight and you ADS, over half your screen becomes three times zoom. This makes it very hard for you to swing people at close distances because your zoom is extremely strong. This makes it really hard for you to take close range gunfights because of how heavy your zoom is. I will say the one advantage of this sight is the fact that its housing is very slim, so your peripheral vision isn't being covered very much, and there isn't a significant portion of your screen being blocked by a dial or anything like that. But considering all the downsides I've already mentioned, I really did not want to put this site any higher on this list. Now, coming in at the eighth spot, we have the telescopic A or the old two time site. Now, the reason why I'm putting this site higher on this list than the other three time site is because the site picture is much smaller. So the three times zoom that the site gives you doesn't cover as much of your screen. This makes it easier for you to spot things in your peripheral vision and flick on to people. However, this site does have a significant downside, which is the fact that the site has a huge dial on the top left of your screen. This means that anything in the top left when you're peeking something is going to be covered and it's going to be hard to see. However, the situations where someone's going to be on the top left of your screen is going to be pretty rare. So that downside isn't really that that significant. Also, another advantage of this weapon size is the fact that its reticle is extremely clean. It's probably my favorite reticle in the game. I would run this reticle on every site in the game if it was possible, but it's only available on this 3X site. So the two time site used to be one of my favorite sites in the game, and I still think even after its nerf, it's a pretty solid site for DMRs. And so for that reason, I put it in the eighth spot, one position above its competition. Now coming in at the seventh spot, we have another one time site, that being the Reflex C. This weapon site was mainly popularized by Bolo because he uses it a lot on a lot of his weapons. And so a lot of people have started using it as well. And I can definitely see why people like it. It has a pretty slim housing, and it also has a really good reticle as well. However, as you'll soon see later in the video, you can definitely have a better housing in the game than this one. This housing has a downside of covering a significant portion of the right of your screen, and it also has pretty thick walls, which makes it hard for you to see anything close in your peripheral vision. And as we get later and later into this video, you'll start seeing that the housings start getting slimmer and slimmer. And so this site is decent and it's not a horrible option, but there are definitely better choices out there. Moving on to the number six spot, we have one of the most dominant sites in Siege, that being the Hollow A. This is the original Hollow that's been in the game since release and a lot of people fell in love with this site. However, after the recent update, it did get a pretty decent nerf to its reticle. The reticle is now bigger and more zoomed in, and also the dot in the center of the reticle is much bigger. This makes a lot of people really not like this site, including myself. However, another thing that isn't discussed very much when talking about this site is the fact that its housing is pretty big. It covers a huge portion of the bottom of your screen, which, like I said before, can cover anyone proning and can also cover people on staircases, depending on how you peek it. All these downsides are noteworthy, but I still think it is a solid site. Its reticle is still pretty clean, despite it being a lot more zoomed in and bigger, and its housing isn't as bad as some of the other options on this list. So I still think it's worthy of the sixth position, but it definitely couldn't go in the top five. Now, moving into the top five, we have one of my personal favorite sites, the Red Dot C. The Red Dot C, as you can see, has a really thin housing. This gives you the benefit of being able to see a lot in your peripheral vision. And its reticle is also pretty clean since it's just a dot in the middle of your screen like other red dots. However, the one downside of this weapon site is the fact that there's a dial in the bottom right of your screen. This means that anything on the bottom right of your peripheral vision is going to be covered, which can potentially cover someone proning or someone lower on your screen. However, throughout my entire time running the Red Dot C, I don't think I've ever encountered a situation where I've covered an enemy with the site. And that's simply for the fact that the walls of the site are very small, allowing you to still see people in your peripheral vision. And it doesn't cover a significant portion of the bottom of your screen. It's just bottom left. So the chance of someone being in the area where that dial is located is pretty rare. The only time I can see the Red Dot C covering someone on your screen is when you're peeking out from the left. When you peek out left, the dial can cover someone on your screen because when you're peeking like this, it can cover someone in the corner of the room. But those situations are few and far between and I really don't find them to be that significant. Now moving on to the number four spot, we have another OG and extremely popular weapon site, the Reflex A. And I see why a lot of people love this site. 
The sidewalls of the site are extremely small, allowing you to still see a significant portion of your peripheral vision. And the reticle in the center of the site is the classic reflex reticle, which is just a small triangle that doesn't cover up a significant portion of your screen. And this site really doesn't have any downsides. It just comes down to personal preference, whether you like this reticle more or the reticle of the next site I'm gonna be mentioning. And so for that reason, it's in the fourth spot, but it realistically could be anywhere in the top four. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you're not really a fan of the reflex reticle and you prefer something else, the hollow B is the perfect tool for the job. The hollow B is the old P10 Roni site that has now been given to every weapon site in the game. It has a pretty clean reticle that's in line with other hollows in the game. It's a dot with a circle around it, which isn't extremely cluttered. And I've always preferred a dot over a triangle as my reticle. However, the main upside of the hollow B is the fact that the sidewalls of the site are extremely thin, allowing you to see all of your peripheral vi vision, basically. So for that reason, and the hollow B is going to be coming in at the number three spot, but it was honestly pretty close to being in second place as well. Now, the weapon site that's going in second place is the Magnified B or the OG ACOG. The main reason why I have this site in this position and not in first place is because of the fact that it's housing is absolutely humongous. As you can see, when you aim in on this target here, it covers a significant portion of your peripheral vision. This making it a very hard site to use on close quarters maps or in situations where you need to take super close range gunfights. However, the main and the most significant upside of this site is the fact that its reticle is extremely clean. It's one of the best reticles in the game. So a lot of people really enjoy the site because of its zoom level, obviously, and also because of the fact that its reticle is extremely clean. So I know this placement is going to be a controversial placement because of how much people love this reticle and how much people love this weapon site in general. But as new sites have been introduced to the game, I haven't really liked this site as much. And so I didn't want to give it the first place position. And that weapon site is the Magnified A. This site is the old 1.5 that is now a 2.5 time scope. Now the upside to the site is obviously that it doesn't cover nearly as much of your screen. It only covers the top right compared to the ACOG, which covers almost all of your peripheral vision. This makes the site a lot better on close range maps or in situations where you need to swing someone at close distances because you still have the ability to see someone in your peripheral vision and flick to them. However, the one downside to the site and the reason why a lot of people don't like it is the fact that its reticle is pretty zoomed in and it's pretty chunky. However, with your reticle opacity turned down, this really does not matter. And it's still just a simple dot in the middle of your screen that you can headshot someone in pretty easily. It's a lot cleaner in comparison to something like the reflex where you have to aim at the top of a triangle. And so because this, in my opinion, is the best ACOG in the game, it's gonna have to be going in the first place position. I know some people may be mad about this placement, and I know a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but I promise you, if you start using the 1.5 in your games, you'll start realizing how good it is. Anyways, that wraps up today's video. As always, these videos are strictly my opinion, and if you disagree, feel free to leave your takes in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, I make each content just like this twice a week, so go subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter if you don't want to miss the next upload. Also, I started a second channel where I upload non-siege content, so if that's something you're interested in, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check it out. If you want to watch another video just like this one, a baby popping up on your screen right now that I'm sure you enjoy. Also, if you want to watch a video from my second channel I mentioned, a video from that channel will be popping up on your screen right now as well. I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.